بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آج کے لیکچر میں ہم ایکسرسائز سے ریلیونٹ کچھ پرابلمز کریں گے اس میں ایک پرابلم ہے دیٹ یو ہیو این ایل ٹی آئی سسٹم ہوز امپلس ریسپانس از گیون یو ہیو ٹو فائنڈ اٹس فریکوینسی ریسپانس اور آپ نے آؤٹ پٹ فائنڈ کرنا ہے اف دس سسٹم از ایکسائٹیڈ بائی اے کوز ویو ٹھیک ہے سو یو ہیو ٹو فائنڈ فسٹ آف آل یو ہیو ٹو فائنڈ ایچ آپ اومیگا سو ایز وی نو دیٹ ایچ آپ اومیگا از دا فور ایئر ٹرانسفارم آپ ایچ آپ ان سو ایچ آپ اومیگا is equal to summation n minus infinity to infinity h up n e minus j omega n so this is n minus infinity to infinity this is 1 by 2 n u up n e minus j omega n so you get its uh, Fourier transform 1 divided by 2 e key power j omega this is actually a sharp omega so now you have to find a uh, sharp omega amplitude and a sharp omega uh, phase angle so as this is uh, uh, we can write this 1 minus 1 by 2 and we can write uh, e minus j omega is cos omega minus j sine omega okay so this is 1 1 minus 1 by 2 cos omega plus 1 by 2 j sine omega this is h of omega so now we have to find h of omega amplitude and h of omega phase so h of omega amplitude can be find one by one minus one by two cos omega this is real part this is real part this is imaginary part sine omega whole square and under the root so this can be written as 1 plus 1 by 4 cos square omega plus uh, sorry this will be minus 2 mm, 1 by 2 cos omega plus 1 by 4 sin square omega under the root we can write uh, this is uh, s cos square omega and sin square omega is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 by 4 uh, this is cos square omega plus sin square omega minus cos omega this uh, cup power here 1 by 2 this is equal to under root so we can write this one uh, one plus one by four minus cos omega under the root so this can be right is uh, h uh, omega amplitude one divided by 5 by 4 minus cos omega 1 over 2 
so this is the magnitude response and uh, as uh, we know that so as we know that uh, the frequency response h of omega is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 cos omega plus j 1 by 2 sin omega this actually comes from this equation okay this is h of omega <coughs> So uh, now we can find uh, the phase of h of omega that is equal to minus tangent inverse uh, 1 by 2 sin omega 1 minus 1 by 2 cos omega so this is actually the part a uh, we have we have find h of omega and uh, phase of h of omega now we have to find y of n if x of n is uh, cos 3 phi by 10 n so cos uh, is x of n is equal to cos 3 phi by 10 n uh, is this is the input so the input have only one frequency omega is equal to 3 phi by 10 so now we have to calculate uh, h of uh, 3 phi by 10 so this will be equal to 1 divided by 5 by 4 minus cos 3 phi by 10 1 or 2 so aap isko calculate kar le so if i am not wrong agar mere se calculation mein kahi pe galti na hui ho to you will get uh, 0 0.813 इस पे आप फेस कैलकुलेट करें सो एच आप 3 फाइ बाई 10 ये फेस माइनस टेंजेंट इन्वर्स ये आपके पास आ जाएगा 1 बाई 2 साइन 3 फाइ बाई 10 divide by 1 minus 1 over 2 cos 3 phi over 10 so this ko aap calculate kare and uh, again if i am not wrong and i have calculate uh, it correctly so you will find the phase at this angle is minus 33 degree so uh, y up in uh, we have to calculate uh, y up in uh, if uh, x up in is equal to cos 3 phi uh, by 10 so y up in will be equal to phase of uh, amplitude of uh, 8 3 phi by 10 um, cos 3 phi by 10 in plus h of 3 phi by 10 so we will get uh, y up n is equal to this comes out 0 0.13 cos 3 phi by 10 n minus 33 degree so this will be the output if the system is uh, excited by a sinusoidal having frequency 3 phi by 10 so agar aap input cos 3 phi by 10 in dete hai, so
so the output uh, will be scaled uh, by 0.813 and the phase will be shifted by an angle of minus 33 degrees so this is all about this question now we have to move toward another question so first of all you have to understand the question uh, this is uh, exercise problem 5.5 you are given an FIR filter uh, difference equation that is y up n is equal to x up n plus x up n minus 10 you have to compute uh, the amplitude of frequency response and its phase and uh, you have uh, determined the uh, response to two different inputs uh, one input is x up n is equal to cos phi by 10 n uh, plus 3 sin phi by 3 n plus phi by 10 uh, this input uh, is actually a composite signal which consists of uh, two sinusoidal uh, having frequency 5 by 10 and 5 by 3 so you have to compute the response uh, when the system is excited by this signal when the system is excited by this signal you have to compute the response and in the part B, you have to compute the response when the system is excited by this input. So this input uh, is also uh, consist of uh, two sinusoid, uh, this sinusoid having frequency 0 and this sinusoid having frequency 2 phi by 5. Okay. So first of all, we have to compute h up omega so we have to compute h up omega and uh, we, uh, com we can compute this h up omega from this difference equation uh, a so y up n is equal to x up n plus x up n minus 10 so uh, we can uh, uh, take uh, its uh, Fourier transform so the Fourier transform of y up n is y up omega and that of x up n is x up omega and the x up n minus 10 becomes x up omega e key power minus j 10 omega so you can write this y up omega taking common x up omega so this becomes 1 plus e key power minus j 10 omega uh, divide both side by x up omega you will get y omega x up omega is equal to 1 plus e minus j 10 omega so <clears throat> uh, this is actually h up omega y omega x up omega is actually h up omega 1 plus e key power minus j 10 omega now uh, we have to simplify this further in order to get uh, the amplitude response as well as the phase response okay so we can write this as h of omega is equal to one can be uh, written is e minus 5 j omega e 5 j omega so when you multiply these to the power added and e key power 0 equal to 1 so this one can be right like this okay uh, now uh, plus e key power minus j 10 can be right we can write this as 
okay so e ki power minus j 10 omega can be right as can be written as uh, e ki power minus j 5 omega dot e ki power minus j 5 omega when these two exponential multiplied the power will add it and it will result e ki power minus j 10 omega so e h of omega e ki power minus 5 j omega taking common you will get e q power 5 j omega plus e q power minus j 5 omega so this is equal to we can write this e q power minus 5 j omega and this can be written as 2 cos 5 omega so this is actually a more sophisticated form of h of omega so now this is h of omega and uh, we have to determine the response of the two inputs the first input uh, have frequencies 5 by 10 and 5 by 3 